Hi children, welcome back to the maths class. In the previous class, we had discussed the first exercise questions in this chapter. So today we are going to start our second property in this chapter that is two sides and an angle. Draw a triangle with the sides 5 cm and 7 cm and they meet at an angle of 60 degree in various methods. So let's draw the triangles of sides 5 cm and 7 cm and the angle between these two is 60 degree. So these are the different pair of angles which we can draw using these measurements. Okay. So children, now let us consider the first pair of the triangles. Here, in the, both the triangles, the base is 5 cm and the hypotenuse is 7 cm and the angle between these two sides is 60 degree. Okay. Okay children, let's cut these triangles in a thick paper and we can make it coincide with the other triangle by turning or flipping. Now let us examine what is the speciality of these triangles. Yes, the third side of the other triangle are equal and other angles are also equal. Once again, if we cut the triangles and we flip it out, the third sides of other triangle are equal and other angles are also equal. From this, we reach at another general principle that is if two sides of a triangle and the angle made by them are equal to two sides of another triangle and the angle made by them, then the third sides of the triangle are also equal. The other two angles are also equal equal. Using this general principle, let us consider the following triangles that are triangle A, B, C and triangle P, Q, R. Two sides and the angle between them of triangle A, B, C are equal to the two sides and the angle between them of triangle P, Q, R. Okay. So, the third side B, C of triangle A, B, C is equal to the third side PR of triangle PQR. Okay. Also, angle opposite to AC in triangle ABC is angle B and angle opposite to PQ in triangle PQR is angle R. Since angle opposite to equal sides are equal, then we can write it as angle B is equal to angle R. Next, angle opposite to AB is angle C. Okay. Then, angle opposite to RQ is angle P. Okay. Since the third sides of both the triangles are equal, that is AB is equal to RQ, then their angles are also equal. That is angle C is equal to angle P. Okay children, using this idea, let's do the activity question in your textbook page number 15, 16 and 17. Okay, the first question is, in each pair of triangles below, find the pairs of matching angles and write them down. So, this is the first part of this question. Here, two triangles are given. We have to find the matching angles and write them down. Now, let us consider both the triangles. In triangle ABC, angle A is equal to angle Q because both the angles are 40 degree each. Then, angle B is equal to angle R here. Both the angles opposite to 7 cm sides. Okay. Then the last one that is angle C is equal to angle P. Here also both the angles opposite to 3 cm side. Okay. Okay children like this do the second part of this question as an homework activity. That's all for today. Thank you.